Hello and welcome to Sports Night. I'm Vanessa Lichard here with Connor Beckler and we're doing our Sports Night special, Train Like a Wolverine. Connor, we couldn't have picked a better day to do this. No, this is some terrible weather we got here at Ray Fisher Stadium, but we're going to try and make the most of it. Yeah, we're about to um, play with two Michigan baseball players, maybe out in the field, maybe inside, depending on what it looks like. They're going to show us some of their favorite drills. We're going to see if we can hang with them. I don't know if we'll be able to, but after we're done, we'll sit down for some questions and learn a little bit about their experience here at the University of Michigan. Who is it? Terry, I keep time scooping it. On my way to head to stop you and pick up the newest shoe. Fitted caps in the crew neck sweater. The coolest weather ain't ever been to a city that do it better. Shout to Chris Webber. Shout to Jay Rose. We on the main road to success. This case closed. Shout to Focus. WCBN. Have a man that do skit at me wherever you see me in. Whether it be pinball peaks, I stand on speech. Got rhymes for the state that'll end all peace. All right, so the weather wasn't really cooperating. We had to move inside of the cages here, but it's all going to be great. We're here with emerging stars, freshman catcher Casey Buckley, and we got an outfielder, sophomore Jesse Franklin here, and they're going to take us through some of their favorite drills. Team's 25-11 and 11 now, 13-2 and two home record, so uh, it's been a pretty good season for you guys. Um, what, what drill, what's the first drill that you're going to run us through today? Uh, so the first drill is something we like to do uh, like pregame or just during practice, but it's a, a front toss drill and you do it from different angles so that you uh, work on uh, a variety of things, but it'll be fun to show you guys what we do. All right, can you demonstrate it for us? Yeah. All right, let's get to it. So what are we going to try and do here? What are we focusing on? Uh, so this is going to be like a left-handed pitcher. Um, so it's going to be his arm angle is coming to the, to the right side since he's a lefty. Mm -hmm. um, so it'll just be simulating that. Um, and then we'll just try to stay through, through the middle, hit the ball off the back cage. Cool. Sounds good. Thank you. Casey, what are you thinking about when you're swinging? Like, like just basic swing tips, just coming yeah, swinging down to the ball. Um, so when I go in the batter's box, it all depends on the situation. My right. number one uh, goal is to hit the ball hard. Um, and then second, I just want to keep my hands through the ball. Okay. Um, try to hit a missile, like a line drive right up the middle. All right, Vanessa, you're up first. Yeah. Let's see if she can do it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. It's okay. Yeah, there it is. Woo! Yep. All right, we'll see how good I can do. I don't know. I think I'll do better. Middle school baseball. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a little while. <laughs> oh, no. Good revenue, go. Nice, Connor. Ooh. So we just got done with the first drill, and honestly, I thought it was a little hard because I've only played softball, but I think I comp competed a little bit. Um, what do you guys think of my performance? It was good. You got better. Uh, better. Better. Did it. Yeah. And then what about Connor? Pretty similar. Yeah. You channeled his middle school baseball and <laughs> came back quick enough. I didn't whiff, so I, I'm going to take that yeah, for what it's win. worth. That's and, win right right. I think I only whiffed once. So. We didn't really embarrass ourselves. so. Yeah, that's all that matters here. It's a good start. All right, what's the next drill we have going? Um, uh, we're going to do some receiving for catcher. I'm a catcher, so we're going to do some receiving. Um, so this is just when you want to catch strikes. Turn, turn balls into strikes. Okay. Um, and, you know, it's just... Every pitch, so. Framing the pitches yeah, a little bit? Fra yeah, framing the pitches. Exactly. All right. All right, let's go do it. Let's do it. All right, so I'm going to do some uh, receiving drills here. Um, you call it framing the pitch. Uh, it's when borderline balls, you want to turn into strikes, you want to help your pitcher out. So Jesse's going to throw me some pitches all around the zone. I'm going to try and bring them back to be a strike. Let's do it. Couple more. <laughs> that, that one's out of there. <laughs> <laughs> 
Alright. Okay. Is there any guys that you look up to do like a really good job? Of um, yeah, so uh, my favorite catcher growing up was Yadier Molina. He okay. plays for the uh, St. Louis Cardinals right yeah. now. He's just really, really good defensively. And all -star, Hall yeah, Fame. all star. He'll be a future Hall of Famer. So, cool. yeah, definitely. There you go. Oh. There you go. Nice. Nice. Sweet. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing better than Connor. <laughs> <laughs> it only depends on what the umpires think. Yeah. Good. Well, thank you, Casey, for taking us through the framing of the pitches. I felt like as we went along, I got a little bit better at making it more subtle, the, yeah. the glove yeah, movements. Yeah. And Definitely. Vanessa, yeah. what do you think? How, how did um, you go? Sometimes I forget how to put on a, a glove, but that's fine. <laughs> yeah, like that was the hardest part of the drill, though, because I felt like pretty good behind the plate. Maybe I should have been a catcher instead of a first baseman. Yeah, yeah, it's all fun in games. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, we're going to sit down, ask a couple questions, and uh, learn how the season's going and what it's like to play on a Michigan baseball team. Sweet. Uh, you guys are both from the West Coast, right? Se Seattle and Long Beach, or the other way around? Yeah. All right, Seattle and Long Beach. So uh, what, what brought you out here to Michigan? What kind of factored into your decision to come to Michigan? Uh, I came to Michigan, I wanted to get away from home. Um, and obviously the academics here are, you know, uh, second to none. Yeah. So, um, you know, just the baseball program is really on the rise, uh, a lot of success. And uh, just, you know, the area and I just wanted to get away. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, for me, I, I really liked um, the coaching staff when I met them all, and uh, I loved the the big big school environment and the huge football team and how everyone in the world knows about Michigan. And I wanted to uh, be able to get Michigan baseball up to the same level. Try to help get Michigan baseball up to the same level as the basketball team or the football team. It's gonna take a, take a while, but we're definitely on the right path. That's a, that's a really cool goal to reach for. Um, now, college baseball probably a little bit different from the type of games, the type of baseball that you're playing before you got to school. What is it like um, playing college baseball versus what you had before? Is it, it kind of different that environment and maybe the classes? Uh, yeah, it is. There are a lot more uh, like other things to worry about with more school and like being on your own and stuff. But other than that, there's just a lot less room for error with college baseball. Like. In high school, it wouldn't be that weird to have both teams make a couple errors a game, but mm -hmm. if you do that in college, you're gonna end up losing. And um, there's just a lot less plays that you can mentally take off, so you gotta make sure you're focused the whole time. Everyone's better, so you gotta uh, try to do some do something different because everyone is the same about the same physically. So you gotta do something different some other yeah. way. So a lot of times this April, I found myself walking around and it's cold. Some days we're getting snow and we hit, and I know that the baseball team's out there on the field playing. You guys got to battle the elements a little bit. Um, what is it like playing in the cold? How do you kind of approach that? And do you have any suggestions for players who maybe aren't used to coming out here and playing in this cold weather? Uh, it's definitely a mindset thing. And um, coach and the older guys were really good about getting me into that mindset last year early. But uh, we practice in when it's really, really cold in like the winter, the deep of the winter. And uh, so when we get out to March and April, um, it's still cold and we notice it, but uh, it doesn't feel as bad. But also we like to use it as an advantage because a lot of teams don't practice yeah. in the cold. So uh, <laughs> any advantage we can have is fine by me. Nice. I see. Yeah, you kind of have that advantage against some of those California teams or right. warm weather teams that aren't accustomed to playing it, even in the off season, like you said. Right. So pretty impressive season thus far. I said 25 and 11. Um, how would you assess the performance so far? What kind of goals do you guys have still going forward? Um, yeah, I mean the record looks good. Uh, a lot of wins. Uh, we could be a lot better. You know, just um, let a couple games slip by, mm -hmm. uh, close games. So. But, I mean, yeah, we'll take it. We had in a Big Ten play this weekend. Um, our goal, our number one goal for now is win Big Ten. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. That's... You mentioned a big series this weekend, Friday, Sunday, against Northwestern. Is yeah. that who's coming in? And then next weekend as well, April 26th to 28th, uh, Rutgers is going to come in. So, hope to see that 13-2 that and two home record on their eyes. Would you rather – this is kind of a fluff question. Would you rather – 
beat a, a blowout an elite team, say like a Georgia, like a top 10 team in the country, or would you rather have a walk-off win to get to celebrate against a lower team like a Penn State or Rutgers? Uh, I would definitely rather blow out a, a, a top team in the country Yeah. just because um, – Big Ten doesn't get a lot of credit for the baseball teams that it has and mm -hmm. the baseball players that it produces. And um, that's one of like my goals and a lot of goals of the guys on the team. But we want to beat the, the storied college programs and to absolutely like smash them would be awesome. And it'll help you along that journey to getting up to the same level as basketball and, fo and football in terms of recognition, right? Mm -hmm. That's sweet. Um, okay. And... This question is going to pertain just to Jesse because Jesse the other day, big big catch out there in center field, made the Sports Center top ten. What was kind of going through your head right after you made that catch? Were you thinking about uh, some of the highlight reels that might be made out of it? Uh, no, I wasn't thinking about that. Uh, I was just happy that I could make the catch and uh, we were just trying to get out of the inning. Um, and then I was just thinking about how we were going to – because we were still losing at that point. So I was just thinking about how we still had to score a couple runs and then um, – finish the rest of the game to get a to get a midweek win yeah did it when it started making its way around social media did you hear from anybody that you wouldn't expect to hear from on a on a daily basis um nobody like that random <laughs> just some good friends that i hadn't talked to in too long yeah and uh but it, it was really humbling to see like different family members think that it was really cool and so i'm glad that um I'm really, I'm really glad that I got the shot to do that. That's awesome. Well, congratulations, guys, on a good season thus far. Thank you for hosting us here today. Casey, I appreciate it. Jesse, thank you for taking the yeah, time. No all right, that's all from Sports Night. Be sure to have a great Sports Night, everyone.